being eliminated in the first stage of a domestic cup competition in your entire managerial career, which is quite something. Not bad, is it? Um, yeah, they were very professional, Man City. Second half, did what they had to do. Um, made a couple of changes, which we, which we expected. Rodri went off with the, uh, when he was on a yellow card. Um, yeah, they saw the game out. They were really impressive. Did the job in the, uh, in the first half. Chelsea were a little bit better second half, but too little, too late. Yeah, very comfortable. Yeah, I mean, um, you know, when, he, when he's speaking about City, you see, not sound like a little bit of a broken record in terms of they do the same thing every single week. Yeah. They might not always score, them out on always win, but they've got a system. They stick to it. I remember they play with Haaland and De Bruyne, or you know, they're playing Gomez, who I thought was outstanding at the yeah. left back, Alvarez. Alvarez up front as well, Cole Palmer, Foden in the centre. Yeah. I just thought they all gelled perfectly yeah. today. One more to mention, Riyad Mahrez. Oh, yeah. yes. Man of the match. And we can hear from him. Here he is with Kelly Summers. Riyad, congratulations. Two more goals for yourself. Man of the match and into the next round. Just how good was that from City tonight? No, I think it's good uh, to have played like the way we played and uh, to score four goals and to keep a clean sheet, I think it was a good good day for us, yeah. Let's start by talking about that free kick that opened the scoring because that was special, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, yeah to be fair, it was a good... I think, I don't know, I think someone touched a little bit, so he, he made it a bit faster, but it was, uh, it, was, uh, it was good to start with. And I think, I think after we, we played very good, yeah. As for the second penalty, we saw Alvarez take the first one. You took the second one. What was the thinking behind that? No, no, I was going to take the first one, but Julian asked me and I said, yeah, of course, you can take it. He's a striker, so in his, uh, in his goals and stuff, so it's good for him. And the second one, I, I wanted to take it and, and yeah, it's good. I think uh, everyone has been involved today and, uh, and very good, yeah. As for City overall, still in all the cups in the FL Cup quarterfinal to come this week as well. You'll face Oxford or Arsenal in the next round of the FA Cup. Just how good a position are you currently in? Sorry, I didn't hear. Just how good a position are City currently in? Of course, it's good. We always, every season we try to, to be involved in every competition. Uh, we're still in all the competition and, uh, and I think we have, to, we have to keep going because uh, we deserve it and the way we play, we... We, we have to keep doing that way. Well done tonight. You are the player of the match. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. There you go, uh, Riyad Morris. And he got, he got things on the way, didn't he, with that cracking free kick, Micah? Yeah, it was outstanding. I thought all game. We dictated. He really gave the defenders a real problem. But this is an excellent finish. Tiny deflection. Takes a little bit of a nick there that helps, helps it on its way. But the technique he's got on his first touch is oh, yeah, blind. The way he just sets attacks up. Yeah. He's really, he scored against <clears throat> Chelsea midweek, scored again today. So They couldn't handle him. Yeah. Couldn't handle him today. Where, wherever he went across the front, yeah. too good for them. It wasn't long after that that, um, I mean, we didn't really know what was going on, was it? It's high, Havertz in, inadvertently handballed it, but there was no doubt it was a penalty. No, it was a definite penalty. He's gone up with his uh, that left arm, isn't it? There you go. And yeah. V, I got it absolutely right. Um, Kepa tried to uh, play the old mind games, didn't yeah. he? But <laughs> Did. I mean, no, nearly he got it. But <laughs> yeah, he got an arm to it, but right enough. Decent pen. Yeah. What five or six weeks he's had? Uh, not he bad, is it? Yeah. Quality. The peak of his five or six. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Uh, Phil Foden became the only player who scored in each of the last five seasons of the FA Cup with a sublime team goal. It Beautiful was. play from Walker. He was. He's been outstanding. Like normally, you see Walker going inside with the, the rest of the fullbacks, but today he spent a lot of the time down the wing, making a difference, overlapping on this right hand side. But this epitomises a Man City goal: sucking people out. Can he switch from one side to the other? Waiting for the overlap. You know, Mares could go either way there. He starts to go with Walker. Has he got the composure to pick mm -hmm. out Foden? And he has. And this is cracking goal, that is. Yeah. One of the best goals I've seen this season. Yeah. Beautiful team goal. And fully deserved. Yeah. You were getting rather excited at that stage, weren't you? Well, like you was with Newcastle <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> until no, you lost. Really? <laughs> <laughs> you like Foden in that the little hole there. Just, almost like a 10. It just gives... We, we, we talked about the World Cup. I think when he's isolated on the left or the right. Yeah. You're not seeing his true self, his true, the way he can get on the ball and manipulate it, the way the spaces he gets into, the, the, the timing of when he releases the ball, his technique, and then he's, you know, coasting into the box. I think 
it's difficult, isn't it? With De Bruyne, yeah. Bernardo Silva. But Foden, I would just love to see him in the central yeah. world because he's got so much to his game. Yeah. The, the fourth goal, what do you think? Penalty or not? Yeah, it was a penalty. Yeah, 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 it, it looked wasn't, clumsy, it wasn't, wasn't it? To, uh, to get excited about, but you can't complain with that because they did the job in the first half. But they work it really well uh, again. And, and yeah, it was uh, it was a penalty. Didn't get him down. Who's coasted in again, Alan? Yeah, you know yeah, what exactly. I mean? Yeah. It makes a difference. I think sometimes watching Man City at times, because they've got Haaland and it's the form that he's in, they tend to force the ball mm. so much mm. in terms of the looking for that killer pass every single time. I think when Foden's in there and the way the build-up, and you did outstanding for this penalty, beautiful technique there from, from in, It's interesting listening to him, isn't it? Say, well, I was on the first one, and he asked me if yeah. I could have that, and then the second one, I thought, yeah, I'll have it myself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, he's, Different. Missed, he's missed a few. He missed Norris, a few. But... That, uh, saw, saw of all of them. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, there was deadly today, Man yeah. City, the really... What about Chelsea, though? Tough day. I mean, they were beaten by half-time. They showed a little bit of spirit yeah. in, the, in the second half. Yeah, it was he, something. He made a couple of changes at half-time, which was no, no surprise. Yeah. Um, they had a little bit more energy second half. Man, in Chelsea, in many ways. They've been fantastic, Manchester City, mm. in every single position from the start of that first half till, uh, till half-time. They've dominated all over the pitch um, and been sensational. From a Chelsea point of view, it's not acceptable, that performance. I said beforehand, they needed a bit of energy, character, um, all of those things. And I don't care how many injuries you've got in your team, you can still go out and put a shift in. Yeah. They haven't. And it's embarrassing mm. from their point of view. I think um, Guardiola needs massive praise here because we mentioned the the players that weren't starting, you know, the Kevin De Bruyne, the Haaland, etc., Grealish, you wouldn't whatever know. it may be. <laughs> but how they come into this system and able to adapt to it so quickly. And then Gomez, I thought, has been outstanding down the left back. Cole Palmer has had ups and downs. He should have, you know, probably scored and probably uh, laid one on as well. But I just think, as a team, yeah. and what they've done from academy all the way to the first team, being able to, to fit into these slots, it's been yeah. brilliant. So it, it all got on its way, really, didn't it? Mahrez is fabulous free kick. Yeah, it was a great free kick. Slight deflection, but deflection. I mean, he did really hit it Gallagher, wasn't it? But um, the way he sticks it in, I mean, the accuracy, the power to get it up and down. Yes, there's that little deflection. Keeper's got no chance with uh, with that. Wow, just a great strike, isn't it? And then after that, it it was just a case of how many is this going to be? Because yeah. they, then we're creating chance after chance and. Have been superb. And then they had a helping hand, so to speak, from Kai Havertz. Yeah, we wondered what the commotion was. We couldn't yeah. really see it on the first glimpse, but it came by, rightly so. The referee went to VAR, and you'll see on this next angle here, clearly he's, he's put his, his hand right in front of Laporte's face, and it is the right decision. It is a sucker punch for them, uh -huh. but it's the right decision. What about this, eh? I think, I think Alvarez is probably saying, mate, I've just won a goal... I've got sure a gold medal in the World Cup. <laughs> I'm, no. I'm not worried about you. <laughs> well, he got a hand to it, but... Uh, yeah. Not quite Martinez, was he? Yeah. <laughs> pound, pound shop, Emmy Martin. <laughs> uh, um, now, goal number three was, oh. was a thing of joy, wasn't it? Oh, the pass and... Some beautiful do, you want, do you want to share it? Let's share it, Al. You know, you let's, start I'll start with it. the right-back we'll position so here. Just, just look on. at the, the way his feet... And the spray, the way he just spent it over the other end of the field. And then this, you know, they're not finished yet. He makes a run as well, but they keep recycling the ball. But this is where you come into it, the attacking side I've of I've said the oh. passing and move. I mean, Chelsea can't get near them. They can't even put a tackle in. And the touch and the technique and the movement off the ball from the other players, then to find Phil Ford, who then has the perfect finish. What a touch that is, isn't it? Right, we well, you, well you, he's Norway. waiting for... Uh, <laughs> there you go. Thanks very much on a plate. I what love, a goal. I love seeing Phil Foden in the, in the centre of midfield. I know it's difficult with Bernardo Silva and De Bruyne normally playing them roles, but he offers so much more yeah, in you terms know how, of getting on the ball, how intelligent he is, the way he creates space for others. His first touch is just... As good, as, as good a goal that is from a Manchester City point of view, from Chelsea, I mean, that is nowhere near good enough. There's no energy, there's no tackles and nothing. You've got to get closer. They're good players. Yeah. Mm. Where does that come from, though? Is that the leadership? Yeah, that, absolutely. Yeah. It's got to come from the manager. I mean, you can just have a look at their body language out there. It's if we don't really want to be here, feeling a bit sorry for ourselves, mm. got players out injured, I'm not sure that I want to be on the pitch. I mean, yeah, absolutely, it's got, got to some, come from the manager. Big players on the pitch. Of course they have, yeah. It's not acceptable, not good enough. Nowhere yeah. near good enough from okay. Chelsea. 
Uh, Cole Palmer, you talked about him um, before the game. He's a young man with obviously lots of talent. Um, yeah. Probably should have squared one to Alvarez, do you think? I described him as delicious, you but did. this certainly <laughs> wasn't delicious, wasn't if I'm far. being totally honest. He should have squared it. Yeah. And if you don't square it there, yes, you've got yes. to score. He's gone for a cheeky little nutmeg through Kepa's leg there, but, you know, the, all the play is good. He keeps himself on side. But it's good movement. And just look at the movement for Alvarez there. Yeah. Just just play the ball to just him. checks up there, doesn't Check, he? Yeah, that, that's the one that you want. Tries to be selfish. On this time, wasn't meant to be. he learn. Alvarez was inches away just before half-time. He was. So it could have been four at half-time. Yeah, from uh, Mores, wasn't it? Down the, uh, down the left-hand side again. Mores has been superb, hasn't he? Magnificent. Just can't live with him uh, at all. I think he just... Either, either side, whether he's on the right or the left, yeah. he's popping up everywhere. Oh, just an that, injury, isn't it? It's just an injury. I mean, he should probably be scoring that, but this is what Chelsea tried to do. They tried to chase the game, try to get the goal, leave himself really exposed at the back, and then they just, just lack of, Ooh. I don't know, Ooh. sort of any yeah. willingness to get back for the rest of the team, but yeah, yeah probably should score there. Yeah. Chelsea have offered absolutely nothing. Look, they've had a, they've had a really tough afternoon defensively, but going forward, I mean, it's so bad you wouldn't you wouldn't believe it. They've had no link-up play. They've had no options. They've been slow. They've had not one effort at goal, not one touch in the 18-yard box. They have been nothing short of pathetic, really, in, in forward positions. They sometimes work the ball out from the uh, from the back, which they've done really well, and they do really well on on this occasion. But just look exactly what happens. I mean, the, the Man City press have been very very good, but they work it really well here, Chelsea. Then you, you think, okay, what what? Where's my options? What am I going to do? So they pass it out really well. Can you, he's one v one there, Ch Chalaba that is down there. So all of a sudden they come back inside, they go back to the centre half, and then look what happens. It eventually ends up back with the goalkeeper. Yeah. Where, where's the movement? I mean, there's, there's, there's nothing. They've had nothing up front at all. We said before the game... Well, they are short what, of the ...in what they're lacking. Yeah. yeah, but you've got Havertz, you've yeah. got Mount. And, then, and you think, well, come on, first time, you can play that ball. That's not really a difficult ball. Comes all across to the side, and you think, OK, come on, get further forward. That's the position that you can go in. And then the ball does eventually come back out there. And then what happens again? Yep. It goes actually back to the centre half and you go back. So everything's been sideways or even yeah. backwards. They've had nothing in full. So Graham Potter on the touchline there. What does he do now at half time? Does he does he say, right, does it damage limitation? Or do you take a punt, right? Go. If we get an early goal, we you never know. It's just about pride, isn't it? I mean, you know, you look at Man City's what they can bring off the bench as well. So I think we've all been in this position where we've been three, four, five nil down. And it's just about damage limitation. Get back into your shape. Make sure they don't take the mick out of yeah. us and just do the best you can. That's not easy to do against Manchester. The humiliation no. is on the is, is is a possibility here. Yeah, but you, he he's now got to say, okay, this tie might be lost, but where where we've got to go out and we've got to show something. We've got to roll our sleeves up and give the fans something. We've got to show we care about this football club. If they because go toe that to five minutes is not acceptable. If they go toe to toe against Man City, they'll open you up. So they've got to get into their yeah, shape. Yeah. Try play on the counter. Show a bit of spirit. Uh, well, with uh, punditry like that, uh, chaps, uh, you won't be fired anytime soon. I can't say the same.